even like for example small things like when i have my friends over like guys or girls like mm -hmm. i'll bring them to my room but in the real world like i wouldn't really just have guys in my room mm -hmm. like it's because we're at uni yeah. guys would be talking and it's gone mm -hmm. four five six mm -hmm. you haven't even slept and before you know it it's hard to get your week started on the weekday and once it's midnight i need everyone out of my home like mm -hmm. i need to yeah, so the thing is like I've started to wake up at six thirty every morning. That's so but good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Like you know, you're part of like the one percent. Part of one percent people. <laughs> that Nintendo, literally you know do that. From head to toe, it's all designer, and you know, sometimes yeah, maybe they're working a good job, but a lot yeah. of a lot of times it could be fraud. Oh, wow. <laughs> people buy like designer bags and then they live off Indonesia for the next thirty days. Like <laughs> so don't do me. no people. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here. Today I'm joined with... I'm Jordan Adette, E to the D to the E to the T, and I'm happy to be on the Gozi channel today. Yeah, so today we're... This is the start of a series called How to Get Away with Uni. So Jordan is my first person on it. And today we're just going to be talking about the importance of balancing uni and how uni is a bubble. And we'll just talk about it and hope you enjoyed this video. So I think it's really important that you're making this video to talk about, you know, the social life and like balancing uh, your work with uni. Yeah. Um, definitely need to discuss this today so i'm going to start from the first thing i want to talk about is probably you know social life and the social aspect of uni mm -hmm. as like learning can be very intense and it's very important to take time out of learning and like socialize with your friends go out yeah. chill so for me i, I play football for the med Sock, uh, football team at uni and by playing for the football team allows me to engage with them mm -hmm. it takes a amount of work and it really is you know, just nice to just talk to people mm -hmm. and everything like that but how if you would could recommend like how often someone should gauge if they want to go out and stuff and still be able to balance it like what would you mm. um i guess i guess it depends like um what subject you're studying and how mm -hmm. how long you study like per day or in a week yeah so when i study usually i do like it in blocks i study for like four hour uh, four hours straight in like a four hour block and then four hours straight uh, <laughs> No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, four hours, yeah, but I take like 10 minute breaks. Oh, each time? Each like half an hour, so it, yeah. it equates to four hours eventually. Okay. Um, But yeah, I'd say you definitely need to socialize like three three times a week. Three times? I don't know, the thing is... Maybe three times a week, I don't know. It's I kind just, of a just, lot for me, you know, yeah. three times. Because for me, Why? like, because I, I only usually go out on Fridays or Saturdays. I can't Same even me. do Same Friday me, yeah. and Saturday, because my social battery is not that much. Social so battery, though. Like, like it, no, it's not, like, Jeez. I have to... It's so weird, because sometimes when I'm out, right, so yeah. if I do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, like, I get self FOMO, like, I miss mm. spending time with myself, so yeah. I have to, like, kind of chill. And I know some people can hack three to four times, especially if you're in first year, and yeah. still be on top of things. But for me, I leave going out to the weekends, and it's once mm -hmm. a week, and I'm mm -hmm. kind of, like, good to go. But yeah. if you have more of a social battery, then obviously you can do three times a week but it's kind of a lot do you it's, mean like three not, hours and like no 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 not like that yeah. like i might just go to my flatmate's house and just you know talk relax. yeah oh okay Basically, if relax. it's like that then yeah i thought you yeah. meant like as in like oh parties. no no no, no. Yeah, parties, yeah, yeah. Like, keep it friday saturday yeah literally i'm literally studying and playing football for the rest of the week what course you do as oh well? oh so if you don't know i do biomedical sciences um really? it's a three-year course Oh, that's intense. And it is intense, but it really is interesting. Learning about like anatomy, physiology, mm -hmm. um, pharmacology, and Fun stuff. all these um, different types of um, uh, sub uh, sub subjects. After. Yeah, so I'm planning to do medicine after this degree. So I'm hopefully going to enroll here to do graduate entry medicine for four years. That's cool. Because um, I, I initially applied to do medicine, mm -hmm. and then I flopped the interview completely. Oh, really? Um, and then you yeah, the, the interview way. didn't really go as planned, but I'm glad I'm doing biomedical sciences now, mm -hmm. which gives me like another chance. To actually sit down and be like, Jordan, do you actually want to do medicine? And yeah. I know I definitely want to do medicine after this degree. So I'm just oh. taking my time, enjoying this degree, and um, I'm here. Um, one thing that I wanted to talk about is I want it like in Freshers Week. I feel like Freshers Week is such an important time because mm -hmm. I feel like even if you're someone who's like introverted, Freshers Week is that time, or so it might even be the first two weeks of uni. I feel like people should really put themselves out there and not just. Yeah clubs like literally events social events yep. if you're in, if you're like christian christian events because yeah. it will give you like a broad range of people and mm -hmm. like loads of acquaintances who could be potential friends so that mm -hmm. when you want to start like just dying out you already have met people so i feel like if mm -hmm. people want to like hyper socialize it should really be like in the first two mm -hmm. weeks of uni because it's so important 100 percent. yeah yeah freshers literally freshers is to meet people mm -hmm. everyone who goes to freshers doesn't really know anyone and when you go there you just meet people that are going to be your besties, you're going to spend time with, yeah. chill with, and that it, that really is important, you know, freshers to... Did you make the people. most out freshers, would you say? Yes, I think I did, you know. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I met, tried to, yeah. yeah. 
Precious was um, it was a blur though. It went pretty quick. Yeah, it did. Um, <laughs> I was a bit drinking there too much, but yeah. You know, <laughs> It really was fun and it is really good to just socialise, meet people. Yeah. So I'd highly recommend um, to just go out there, be yourself, and you're going to meet people that like you for who you are, you know? Exactly. And, um, but when you came here, did you know anyone? Did you come here with I came anyone? here with three people from oh, really? um, back home. Um, so from my sixth form. Um, was it easy to like still socialise and, and still w with them around or what, like, did you kind of stick to them? Oh, so all of us in different accommodations. Oh, so okay. it was one where... Like we message sometimes, and we have met a couple of them, um, but yeah. from freshers, I didn't meet them in freshers. I just mm -hmm. met a lot of other people in freshers, and then they obviously met people from freshers, and then from that we're able to meet each other's friends. And yeah, that's yeah. good because some people mm. when they go to uni with people, they tend to they just, just yeah, they gravitate yeah. towards that one person, or, and it's yeah, it makes it harder to get to know people if yeah. you're only sticking with people you knew before. I think yeah. it's a bit risky because mm. even for me, like in freshers week, because the thing is, I like going out, but. I get exhausted doing it so often, but mm -hmm. I knew that because I, I knew no one here. I wanted to put myself out there. So yeah. every time someone says something on the GC was going on, an open invite, I would just go and, and every time, um, ACS was, group chat. I was thinking what GC was for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I would just go regardless of what, yeah. how I thought it was going to be. And it really helped to meet like a wide, obviously mm -hmm. you're not, you're not going to end up becoming friends with everyone, but just acquaintances are important as well. Yeah. Like it's important to have that. Mm -hmm. And, um, Another thing I was going to talk about in terms of like balancing social life and your work, I feel like it's important to learn how to say no sometimes. Like, mm -hmm. I, yes, especially, yeah. I, yeah, like, especially, I find that like if I have like a plan that I only want to go out on Friday and Saturday and someone's doing an event on Tuesday and Wednesday, and my friends are like, no, please come out. I have to be like, no, like, I have mm -hmm. to actually do my work. And you have to learn how to, just, when, it, when you mm -hmm. know it's going to dampen your, academic work or your mental health like you have to actually make boundaries to be like yeah. no, i can't do today and you can't feel bad for it because sometimes i used to if i cancel on people or like if i say no to plans a lot of times i start to feel bad but you, you shouldn't really, really i know you're saying no because it if is. it's gonna hinder you in the long term or mm -hmm. like you're not gonna meet your short-term goals and you know what you're doing mm -hmm. i think coming up with a plan like when to socialize and when not to and when to like work on yourself mm -hmm. that could be in terms of like academic work or you know any extracurricular activities that do on youtube mm. it is really important to you know just uh, focus on that yeah and also would you advise people to try and find like a job or a source of income at uni like would you 100 percent all right yeah. people because my student loan um is very similar to the rent that they take out mm -hmm. for each term and i literally have about 50 pounds to spend oh, so yeah. i had to find a job wow. um, at uni so i'm actually working at sainsbury's big up sainsbury's <laughs> and work, sainsbury's. working there and i was working there in london and then i transferred to the one in Selly, I'm in yeah. Birmingham now, so I think it is very essential to, you know, come up with a job and working yeah. a job also takes your mind off work and yeah. actually it's good to socialise and just um, obviously um, earn that bread, as people like to say. <laughs> yeah, so, honestly. No, the thing yeah. is, I honestly think it's so, because for me, I'm not going to lie, I'm not working right now, but when this is not, like my first experience of uni, I did work for my first and second year, so mm -hmm. um, I would advise people to try and find a job or if you are talented or you do hair, nails, lashes, like uni is such a good time mm -hmm. to start those literally, things. Literally. Like, Honestly, start that business, start that channel. This is, you have so many people here to, you mm. know, practice on and to, you know, people could be your mm. potential target audience. So I feel like uni is a good place to start finding that first source of income if you've exactly. never, especially if you've never yeah. worked before. And I know it can be hard balancing work and uni, but that's why you work part time, you know, and you, yeah. you do it around your hours. So yeah, I would yeah. recommend it. The statement that uni is a bubble, what do you have? Do you, would you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? What do you um, have to say about it? I think it applies to this uni, the University of Birmingham, because in Selly and also on Novell, like our campus allows us to be in a, in a bubble where it's literally just all students. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you compare it to like London unis, mm -hmm. um, the campuses are very fragmented. Yeah, that's and true. I just don't see the uni experience in London. That's why I didn't apply uh, to yeah. any uni in London. Because it doesn't so, really feel like uni. Yeah, yeah in London like... it just like doesn't do it for me. It doesn't do it yeah. for me in my but I really do enjoy it here at mm -hmm. UOB. And I, ha I have to say that is very student orientated in terms yeah. of like just the shops mm -hmm. the bars restaurants a lot of uni students do go there mm -hmm. and yeah i feel like especially campus-based unis like uob is mm -hmm. it is 
it is a bubble and i feel like it has pros and cons so for me the pros is like because obviously especially if you live like okay for me as an example i live in the ville and like i'm five minutes away from most of my friends like mm -hmm. you know when next are you gonna like in life are you gonna be that able to just walk to your friend's mm -hmm. house so it's something that you can take advantage of and just enjoy and like one thing as well about uni that is kind of funny is because you know how people can just come to your com mm -hmm. and you guys could be talking to like 6 a.m mm -hmm. like that doesn't happen in the real life yeah. like and it's it's yeah, quite yeah. funny because the thing is even like for example small things like when i have my friends over like guys or girls like mm -hmm. i'll bring them to my room but in the real world like i wouldn't really just have guys in my room mm -hmm. like it's because we're at uni yeah. so that's how it's kind of like a bubble because practices are not really normal here like you, a lot of people your sleeping pattern becomes a myth like you oh. kind of just <laughs> lose okay, the people. essence um, of <laughs> the thing is the thing is like I've started to wake up at 6 30 every morning. That's so but good. It's good, it's good. Like, cause like, I feel like waking up earlier allows you to have the rest of the day to plan. It does. So it does. in the morning, I'll get my exercise done, my reading, and my mm -hmm. planning, and then I have the rest of the day to, mm -hmm. you know, set out whatever I want to do. But You know, you're part of like the 1%. Hard 1% people <laughs> that literally do that. No, it's so because yeah. it's so hard to do that at uni. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I find that when I'm back home in London or mm -hmm. anywhere else but uni, things are things make sense. Mm -hmm. I okay, maybe not six, but seven, eight, I'm up like in mm -hmm. the day ready to start. But That's at good. uni, I have to try that much harder to do mm -hmm. it because literally all it takes like sometimes I my friends like it's so it can be unannounced, like they can just come here to know, visit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, it's we're gonna have a good time and it's nice, but sometimes it's just kind of like that that's how we end up falling down the hole of having the bad sleeping pattern because you guys will be talking and it's gone mm -hmm. four five six you mm -hmm. haven't even slept and before you know it it's hard to get your week started up so it can be a bubble so you have to know how to like balance stuff and like Definitely. i try yeah. not to be so strict like on the weekends i can you know chill come back home wherever i try not to be strict mm -hmm. to myself yeah. but on the weekday and um, once it's midnight i need everyone out of my home like yeah. i need to yeah. go to bed and you yeah. have to do that otherwise you could honestly just lose yourself because a lot of people come to uni and they just like they just fall apart mm -hmm. no, no, <laughs> like, no. i think i think discipline is key it's so hard but you have to key. try yeah because i think discipline allows you to do the things you don't want to do all the time like sometimes mm -hmm. i might not feel like studying but if i'm going to allocate a time i went to study mm -hmm. i need to sit down and study and obviously the socializing and the enjoyment and mm -hmm. meeting people can come after yeah um you know like what i do would you say like people who are coming to uni do you feel like do you, would you advise them to like live in the moment more or would you advise them to do that alongside trying to plan their future after uni or would you just say like Ooh. wait to get to that bridge before you cross it like what would you advise someone I, I follow like a structured plan and stuff but i obviously have time to meet people and you know just enjoy the university experience so mm -hmm. i think it just comes down to you know each individual on what yeah. you want to gain from uni and i've really enjoyed uni this year uni's coming mm -hmm. to an end for first year but Mm. Obviously, I have really enjoyed it. No, that's so, the thing is, I also wouldn't advise because the thing is that you're gonna get some people who will tell you, like, literally, you're at uni, it's your first mm -hmm. year, just enjoy, don't think too hard. But I've always been like a planner and I can't help but like plan what I want to do next. And sometimes mm -hmm. that's bad because I don't appreciate the present. But what I would say is, if you're in uni, like, it's okay to want to make like um, investments towards your future career if that's you wanted to be like a lash tech or you being a mm -hmm. trader like it's okay to still like plan your life while enjoying uni i don't really agree with the notion of just like mm -hmm. just going with a nilly like just enjoy it don't think yeah. of tomorrow like i really don't i don't <laughs> no, do that people, like, people we have assignments exams exactly. and that's all gonna pile up if you yeah. don't have a plan and you don't know what you're gonna do yeah. day in and day out mm -hmm. you know? no it's so true and like i also feel like one advice i would give like prospective students coming in like i feel like once in a while it's okay to like go back home like usually after like three four months of being in birmingham i'll go back to mm -hmm. london and it actually helps me recess because i feel like this place here like it's so i don't know how it is in your experience but mm -hmm. it's kind of like it feels like it's on crack like everybody it's just so <laughs> active like, it, it is active it is active though. it's sometimes it's just too much yeah, like, especially yeah. like with going out like i have to <laughs> no <laughs> sorry i'm just thinking about that no because oh. sometimes yeah i'm like okay i'll come out on a friday but if i were to because maybe it's just the people that i've been hanging out with mm -hmm. but i'm telling you like almost every day of the week there will be something going on that this person yeah. like do you want to come to you on a tuesday on a monday yeah. i'm like i it's can't like, do that it's like guys all right hold up all right like, wait till friday saturday i'm not yeah. doing this on a tuesday honestly <laughs> like i remember last time i think the last place where i saw you 
Oh no no, that was a different place. But um, okay, it's no, so basically, like even with parties and stuff, like sometimes I will go with people who want to try and attend three parties in that one night, and you know, like I, that's why I'm saying it's on crack. Like people mm -hmm. are hyperactive, and mm -hmm. these people can go out Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. Sunday, like like it's nothing. I can't do that. So sometimes don't you have work to do? I right? know. I just... And do you know the funny thing? Like oh. sometimes these people are actually. Oh. So sometimes like when I go back to London, it's because I need to recess mm -hmm. and I just need mm -hmm. to breathe because. Here, it's really fast paced sometimes here yeah, especially yeah. like socially and like mm -hmm. you just need to take time away and also another thing i want to talk about is like i feel like at uni a lot of people might feel like they want to belong to a certain okay basically because I, the thing is, I'm an international student, so mm -hmm. I don't get student finance. So, but for mm -hmm. some people yeah. who do, I know that if, especially if they get like the big, um, because I know there's ranges, there's right? Ranges, so if yeah, you get yeah. the highest band, like they wanna, that's when like they've ever, that's the first time they've ever got that kind of a money, um, disposable income. Mm -hmm. So they wanna just splurge and hey, stuff. Yeah, 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 and yeah. I think it's so important at uni, don't leave, uh, don't live above your means. Like mm -hmm. some people, they come here and they wanna just do image gang, like they wanna get, you know, the latest shoe, the latest bag, and it it will take a toll as time goes by. Uh -huh. Percent. You end up with forty five p in your account, and then you check your balance. You're like, um, yeah. Um. Like, it's so important not to do that. Like, exactly. sometimes I see people from head to toe is all designer, and you know, sometimes yeah, maybe they're working a good job, but a lot of a lot of times it could be fraud. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, for real. Like, I feel like it's important for new students to know that, like. You can you you can treat yourself to nice things, but just make sure that you're not overspending just so you yeah, can fit yeah. into a certain type of image. Yeah, I think I think you should always um, be comfortable with being yourself. And mm -hmm. when you find yourself not being you, and you're starting to spend more money, and you're just yeah not acting yourself, that's when you need to, you need to just take a step back and be like, okay, I need to look at the environment I'm in. Sometimes you need to just come out to to see it because yeah. you could because especially if you end up with a group of people that they all have like. Apple watches, they all have like designer mm. bags. You feel like you want to keep up, and exactly, if yeah. it's not in your tax bracket, don't do it. <laughs> just, like, don't don't. Do it just don't do it, all right? It's not gonna Honestly. have that benefit in the long term for you because yeah. you're gonna be at a cash loss. Exactly. And, like, yeah. people will buy like designer bags and then they live off Indomie for the next 30 days. Like, <laughs> so don't do No, people the do that. The 35p needles, isn't it? Yeah, yeah like, like, people do that. Like, <laughs> don't the, yeah, be that yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. But that's just, I just wanted to add that in because I feel like mm. people don't really need to speak about that. But is there anything yeah. else you want to talk about in this topic of like balancing and like... Uni? Okay, so like what's um, some of the ways you do to, you know, deal with stress? Apart from obviously going back home, mm -hmm. um, like what's, what's other ways you use to like deal with stress? So I go, I work out, like I go to the gym and I'm not going to lie, when the gym was shut, Jordan, I was in such a bad place. Like it was really bad because mm -hmm. for me, like home workouts, right? I don't, it just doesn't do it for me. Like, I do it when I have to, but mm -hmm. when I go to the gym, what I like to do the most is lifting, and that's what kind of gets me going. Yeah. So, when the gyms were short, my, it kind of just ruined a lot of things for me mentally. I'm not even gonna lie. Well, but, a lot of people, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, but ever since literally the day that the gym opened and I got my membership, all of a sudden my sleeping pattern's fixed. Like, my mm -hmm. attitude to life is better. So, it does, that is kind of like my, my release. Like, that's yeah. how some people they go on the run, some people do yoga. Yeah. I just go to the gym four to five times a week, and it keeps mm -hmm. me in check like you, it honestly you does. say that gym's like an integral part of your life then it is it is and it's more it's it's, it's a mental thing because like definitely, obviously definitely, i know yeah. that there's the physical benefits of going to the mm -hmm. gym but the endorphins that it gives me like i can't Jeez, even... endorphins in that no, like, for real. Yeah, like yeah, i can't even explain yeah, yeah. it endorphins like... are released and you feel good after doing the exercise exactly and i feel so. like i can face the rest of my stuff because with lockdown like my because oh my god like the amount of steps i used to do like when we were in, mm. and everything was shut i used yeah. to do like Sometimes like two hundred steps for the whole day, but now that life is back to normal, I'm doing like ten k, fifteen k. Like my yeah. life feels mm -hmm. like it's going. So that's how yeah, yeah. I balance my stuff. And I know the gym is not for everyone. So for you, it might be yoga. Yeah. Although I look here, I feel like yoga is some dark stuff. But we're not going to talk about that today. But it could be that for you, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. But what about you? What is your? Oh, so my release. Um, I usually go on runs. Mm -hmm. I usually do six k runs. That's um, so good. How how quickly? How I can do I can do six k in just under half now. So it's it's all right. I take my time to do the six k. Would you do the half marathon? I would do. I would do. I would do the half marathon. Sure. Yeah. Much of me in the marathon. That's such an achievement. Running. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just shout on my YouTube channel. As I run along. <laughs> no, just for real. You, you so should. Yeah, and I usually do skipping as well. I started to get into the habit yeah, of skipping. Jump and yeah. literally doing exercise, I understand obviously the physical benefits as you were talking mm -hmm. about, but I think it's more mental than physical, and it just puts you in that mindset to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna do this, mm -hmm. and once you do whatever you're participating in allows you to just feel good yeah because um endomorphins and mm -hmm. 
everything that I have to say. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks, Jordan, for joining me. Thank you this. for having me on your channel. Yeah. Um, be sure to give I mean, Gozi a subscribe. Yes, and like the video, guys. of course. <laughs> thank you. But yeah, bye guys.